Yes, welcome. Today's topic is five steps to get your guy to be more affectionate. Here we go, let's jump in. All right, who is this for? This is for any woman who is 18 to 80. I got you, this works for everyone. When are you gonna start executing this? Anytime past date five, you can start using this. Why is this topic so important? Well, if he's being affectionate towards you, he likes you. If we get him to feel safe to be more vulnerable with you, that he really feels attached to you, he wants to be in your heart, he wants to get closer to you. So that's why we're doing this. The first step is to appreciate good behavior. A line that absolutely crushes in this is this. Remember when you did X? That made me feel amazing. Can we do that again? So that line is appreciating him for good behavior and trying to get him to do it again. All right, step two is to not give more. A lot of people out there, including myself, we all think, let me model the behavior. If I model the behavior, then he will do it and he will just see what I'm doing and he will do it. That doesn't work. It just doesn't. And even if in a relationship you're like, clean all the dishes, I'm going to take care of the children more, I'm going to do more, I'm going to you know, plan more dates. I'm... No, that's not how men work. You don't do more. You actually ask for more so that he can come into the fold and so that you can appreciate them. That's how we get them. Does that make sense? It's confusing, right? Step three is I want you to evaluate yourself. Are you being the woman that he fell in love with? Like think about when you were dating and you guys fell for each other and it was amazing and there were sparks and there were butterflies. Have you lost that part of you? And if you had, that's okay, we all do it. But how can we regain that, that playfulness? How can we regain that courting? Start strategizing and how you can date again. Because dating does not happen when you, or does not stop when you get married. It doesn't stop when you have life partnership and you've been together for 50 years. You still date. That's what allows a marriage, a life partnership to be fun for 50 years is you keep dating. Okay, step four is tell them exactly what you need. The line to use is you would make me the happiest woman in the world if you did X. You would make me the happiest woman in the world if you took me on an amazing date sometime. You would make me the happiest woman in the world if we went skipping down the road right now. Let's do it. And he's probably gonna think you're nuts. But who cares? This is love, let's have fun. Step five, get really curious with your man and ask him like, hey, how come, just out of curiosity, how come you don't share how you're feeling about this? Is there something maybe in your past that's making it not safe to, to share how you're feeling? And then listen to him. And if he says, you know, this, you know, I don't feel safe within our relationship to tell you things, I think I'm gonna be judged. Well, if you can provide this, tell them, you know, I'm not going to judge you. I just want to learn and know you better. And I want to feel like we're a team. And as a team, I can't judge you. I can just love you for who you are. All right, team, that is our five steps on how to make a man be more affectionate. If you have any questions, go down there. Let me know how I can help. You're probably wondering what to do next. Next is obviously subscribe if you're not in there and hit the bell, but I've got more videos for you. So go up there, go up here. We got two videos. Go click the one that resonates with you most. And as always, thank you for watching.